guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang gang? I thought this was a fly, honey. Look, oh my god, freaked out. I was like, how can I have a fly in winter? Ugh. Guys, I have a big announcement to make. Big announcement. It's been two months, almost two months. I've been changed. I've been changed woman. <laughs> okay, for those of you that followed me for a really long time, you guys know I've been doing this diet for over 10 years. Vegan diet, right? Within the diet, I did so many different diets. I did first, let's see, raw diet. That's when you eat anything raw. Everything raw, nothing but raw. No rice, no cooked beans, nothing cooked. And obviously I'm vegan, so at this point, I'm not eating any meat, milk, honey, eggs, nothing, nothing but just fruits and vegetable. I did that for about, I would say, eight months when I first turned vegan. I loved it, but at the same time, I thought I was gonna kill myself because I was just cold all the time, okay? And then I fell into like one food diet, right? Where you eat just one food per day. Like if you eat banana, banana all day. And then the next day you eat banana all day kind of thing. Oh my God, that was so boring. The other diet that I did, I tried the keto diet keto vegan it was so difficult you guys think about it no fruits nothing sweet you could eat cooked food but there's nothing really cooked that's that doesn't have any sugar so like no rice no grain no like no soup basically you're just eating vegetables and nuts and seeds all day oh my gosh i thought i lost a lot of weight doing that but i thought i was gonna die on that diet too so i said forget i can't do that i did a potato diet where you eat nothing but potato i did a raw till four diet where you eat raw till four o'clock and then you eat whatever and then i did intermittent fasting diet when you eat once a day kind of diet oh my gosh what else did i try can you please Oh, I did a whole food diet where you do calorie dense diet where you make your meal really big but then you fill it up with like a whole bunch of like food that has low calories like you know the versus high calorie stuff so I did that for a while but anyways I failed because I couldn't make that into a lifestyle like really so every time I fail I would go back to eating these foods that I miss as not vegans like I would eat lots of like jajangmyeon, lamyeon, and I would eat a lot of processed vegan meats like, you know, impossible burger, french fries and chips and ice cream, cheese. They're all vegan obviously, but stuff like that. And a sad news came to me. I started getting sick, you guys. I couldn't understand it. I'm gaining weight. I am vegan. And I'm sick. I'm like, what is going on here? I mean, I don't eat a lot of stuff and how can I be sick? So I searched and searched and searched and I finally found this diet, I call it. I love it. I've been doing it for two months now and I love this diet. I'm about to share that with you today. A big news, right? But before we go on, today's sponsorship is AG1. You guys, this morning I took a shower, totally naked, as in face, no makeup, no nothing. I just want to show you what I really do in the morning. There are two things that I must do. One, I drink lemon water. Two, I drink AG1. AG1 is comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients made for just about everybody. AG1 is gluten-free, dairy-free, it's paleo, vegan, and keto-friendly. For real, this is a must for me. The lemon water I started drinking in because so many people say, oh, there's benefit to this and this. And so I'm just trying it out. I've been doing it for about a little bit over a month. H1, I've been doing it for years, you guys. Excuse me, my face is a little puffy yesterday. I went out and I went crazy with the food. <laughs> I'm gonna first drink my lemon water. Lemon water is so hard for me, guys. Oh. I know for matter. Oh, I don't know why lemon water is just so hard for me. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, that was like the hardest part of this morning. Oh, I need to calm myself. 
Okay, the good stuff. This is easy. This is so easy. Ah, oh, so much better. AG1 is one scoop solution for supporting holistic whole body health. It's meant for everyone and anyone and it supports your foundational needs in one scoop. That was good. Rhodiola, magnesium, and vitamin B. It has those three ingredients in there and it helps you with your energy all throughout the day. Guys, I quit coffee and I feel great. This is one of my favorites, stress and mood balance. Hello. There are powerful plant extracts and antioxidant that helps you clear your mental clarity. This is vital for me because you guys, I am always stressing about something, you know? Immune health, healthy aging, recovery. I mean, look, my hair, look at my hair. I'm, in, I'm like, I'm almost 50 in a couple of years. You know what I'm saying? And every time I go out, they're like, oh my gosh, your hair, is it extension? I'm like, no, this is my own hair. As you could see, I dye my hair um, because I have lots of gray, but, and I wash my hair every single day. Okay, not every single day. Maybe out of 365 days, I probably wash it 360 days. Six, 350 days? <laughs> I mean, some days I, mean, I get lazy and whatever, but you know what I mean? I wash my hair every day and I don't have any split ends. I'm telling you, people take biotin pills, right? You guys, but with this AG1, it has biotin inside that you don't, it helps you with your hair growth and your nails. Like really look at my skin, you guys, nothing on right now. It's a little glowy, isn't it? <laughs> Hungy. He loves this for his recovery because he started going to go to the gym and he always drinks this in the morning with me with the lemon water. He loves it. He, it really helps him with the recovery. Tap my link to get a free one ear supply of vitamin D drops plus five travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Yeah, so AG1 is part of my diet. I love it. I drink that every day because I feel like the vegetables and fruits we eat nowadays, unless you get from like the local farmers and you get it, like you grow it yourself, the nutritional value is very poor. It's just, it is the way it is right now. And this world is kind of, they mess with you with food, like really. They give us stuff for us to eat when it's not food. It shouldn't be food. But people think it's food. So anyways, my biggest diet, da -da -da -da, I took away a bunch of stuff. First, I took away flour. Goodbye, flour. So basically gluten-free. They call it gluten-free, right? So I became a gluten-free. I tried it for a week. I really liked it. I was like, not bad. But that means no more, you know, noodles and no more bread. Also, it's like, you know, it's, I, I had cravings. But they are replacements, thank goodness, because in the United States, uh, everybody's gluten-free, right? So that was good. Then I said, I need to take away some oil because I started eating a lot of fried food. And then so I said, oil, goodbye. And then next I said, processed vegan meats and cheese, goodbye. So what do I have now? Basically whole foods. I'm on a whole food, plant-based diet. That's what I am on. And you might be saying like, oh, I know that diet. Well, I put my spin to it. So just like the AG1 sponsorship, I drink lemon tea in the morning. I have a little break. Then I drink the AG1. Then I have a little break. Then I drink the juice. I drink juice. So I have this slow process, slow cold press, slow press juicer, and I drink a lot of vegetable plus fruit. I drink that about five cups, and then I eat my last meal. So I do eat throughout the day. I eat very healthy because I get in a lot of stuff, but at, at night I do try to eat some grains, some beans, um, lots of vegetables, some fruits, and then even some, out of the probably out of the month four or five times I cheat 
where I could go out and eat whatever I want. I tried to stay gluten free, but I'll take a bite of cookie or bite of a noodle that I miss or something like that. So I'm not really depriving of, is that the word? But at the same time, I don't have the cravings for any of these crazy food anymore. So today's recipe is really good for some of you that is like mommy tang i've been vegan i don't know what to eat at night in my opinion whatever you do you have to have a routine everybody has a routine right you guys like people if you think about people that like work out they always have a routine right with food you have to have a routine too so this is my routine I told you what I did in the breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I'm thinking, I did promise you like seven videos. Guys, I tried so hard so many times to pick up those cameras and I'll be like, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. I couldn't do it. I'm going through so much right now. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff going on here. I just couldn't do it. But I'm going to share with you maybe like what I eat in a day or something like that for seven days. Not seven days straight, but consecutive. Oh, seven con executive. Conservative? Consecutive. Consecutive. Executive is executive. <laughs> now I don't know how to say consecutive. Consecutive. What after no. the other? Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe doing that to show you what I eat at night because I get very bored. So I don't eat the same stuff every night, but I eat the same group of food every night. Does that make sense? How much did you lose weight? I lost about. Okay, so first when I started diet, my body went for a shock. Like, oh, where's the flour? Oh, where's the oil? Where's the processed food? So I lost about good seven pounds. Like first week, like, and I was like, woo. Yeah, first two weeks, I lost seven pounds. And I was like, woohoo, right? And then I plateaued. And then I gained a little bit of weight, you know, with the, the cycle and everything. I guess I was like, oh, is this diet not working or something? But it went down a little bit. So right now, the total of two months, I lost about six and a half pounds without exercising. I know I need to get into exercising, but right now I'm focused on what I could change with the diet first, you know, get it going. It's, it's not just weight loss though, right? Oh, my skin. Yeah. I just have to like this so glowy. My skin changed. <laughs> my nails. You know, help with the AG1 and all. I'm telling you, the AG1 stuff is like, out of the, all the stuff that I sponsor you guys, it really works. Yeah, and my bathroom habits are so good. A lot of you might be like, get on with the recipe, girl. Like, you're talking too much. Okay. okay. <laughs> Give me a break. Okay. Yeah. Like, I probably eat this much vegetable at night. Yeah. So, you know, the whole head of lettuce, yeah? And then I eat like another, like a cucumber of some sort, or like, you know, mollies or twillies, something like that, with grain. Like I would eat like, um, you know, like rice of some sort, starchy, clean, whole food. It's not like white rice, I'm talking about brown rice, and or I eat tofu to fill me up, right? So today I'm going to teach you how to make the Vietnamese roll, the spring roll, the summer roll. Vegan. Is that considered processed? Yes and no, because it is processed, but like, we live in 2023. Everything is processed, even rice, even water is processed. Mineral water, spring water, alkaline water, it's processed, you guys. So I found these brown rices. I'm doing the whole food kind of thing. You can find this online. Guys, if you live in the United States, you could get everything in the United States. Why? Because everything delivers you by Amazon. This is brown rice paper. They also sell this. I don't know. This I've never seen before, but I just got it. But the bizarre thing is, this one says brown rice flour, tapioca flour, and salt. Same thing with this, but this was white. I'm like confused. How could this be brown rice and white, and this is brown rice and brown? I don't know. This is Vietnamese, this is Korean. That's all I'm gonna say to you guys. You guys go from there, okay? Okay, and then so I have some tofu noodles. What is that, Mommy Tang? Okay. Okay, I just want to let you know, uh, Hangi sometimes doesn't know the rules. He doesn't show the packages. He just like, he, he, he did this already. I'm like, what are you trying to do? You got to show them the package. And my strainer's broken. Somebody please send me some new strainers. I need the tofu. Did you use all two of them? Yeah. I need... The package! I need to show them what it is! Seriously, now they're not, they're gonna be all confused now. Well, it's just called tofu noodles. 
It comes like a tofu package, you guys. <laughs> and then it comes with water. And it look, there's tofu inside. Okay, it tastes just like tofu. It's just hard. And this is tofu. It's a hard tofu. <laughs> just have your vegetable ready like this on an, a plate like so. And then that's pretty much what you need to do. I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. All right, guys. So I'm going to make a simple sauce. If you have a hard time finding soy sauce that's gluten-free, use coconut aminos. Coconut aminos are everywhere. They taste like soy sauce, but sweet soy sauce. And then I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup by Costco. And some sesame seeds. Lots of sesame seeds. Okay, so that's my sauce one. It's very simple, you guys, right? You can find it anywhere. Ooh, that's good. Hungi will make us the peanut sauce because peanut sauce. Peanut. Peanut sauce. Pe what? People like peanut sauce. When you make peanut sauce, guys, peanut, try peanuts. Peanut sauce. Peanut butter. Try to get something that's organic and look at the ingredients. It has to say organic peanuts and sea salt. That's that's it. If you find like sugar and this and that, it's fake. Ugh. One scoop. How many scoops would you like? That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh yeah, sriracha will be on the side. Just in put case. some in there too. Just in case. No, I don't want that spicy. Do I want that spicy? Yeah, it's good. It has flavor. Just a little. It's very little. No, my, I don't like my hair. It kind of looks like it's so flat here and so like, I don't know. It's very weird. It's not me, right? My hair? That's your opinion. I like it. I don't like it. Some garlic powder. Some young glue. Yeah? Yeah? Some sesame oil. And sesame oil? Oh my gosh. You don't like, wait, you can't add oil? You could sesame oil is safe, olive oh. oil is safe. I eat very little bit. Okay. All right. And coconut amino acid. Very, very little bit, you guys. You don't need a lot. I think you need water in here. What do you think? It's so thick. It's supposed to be thick like this? No, it's wet. I have no peanuts. Now get it, you know, somewhat big something and then hot water so little are we are we low on water supply yeah, or something I got it I got it I don't know I like I like using this ugly accent that I have I don't know what country it's from really it's not from any country it's just my ugly accent don't say ugly accent then Cause it's nobody's. It's ugly accent. Cause it's my accent. Oh, what if it's an actual accent? Oh my god. How can it be an actual accent when I don't know how to say a certain accent? Some people might think might, that might be someone's accent, and they might say it's ugly. Oh, when you're saying it's ugly, then you're like. So how do I say it then? Yeah. Tell me, internet queen. So like, I really like. I, I like this like accent, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. Yeah, I like to say this accent, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Is that more proper? Yeah. Why is it so hard to open? What is going on here? So you wet it like so very quickly, you guys. Okay. Put these away. And then I'm going to put tofu, protein first. Look, these are tofu noodles. You guys, look. They're tofu but noodles. Because you want to control your... See, I, see what the accent that I just did? You want to control. You want to control your starchy, whatever, right? And then you put lettuce. You put sesame leaves. You could put any vegetable at this point. You could even put raw chives. I love raw chives. Okay, and then some cilantro. Like how much green you're eating. It's healthy for you. And then you wrap it. Don't worry about the ends, okay? Because unless you're like, you know, I guess rolling it for your friends or something. You guys about. Look, you just make it like that. Look.
うまかったそうこれうんうまいっちゃうんそうなんだ。ないですよ I don't need it. You know, avocado is fat, a lot of calories. Mm-hmm. You don't have those noodles, Mom. What? You don't have the noodles you put in there. No, I, I use tofu noodles. Brown rice paper is actually really good. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is so good. I'm gonna go easy with the noodles. Okay, guys, the trick to this diet is to get your mouth really full with vegetables. And if you do juicing for a while, you'll start loving the vegetables or not. Isn't this true, Hungi? You start appreciating the, the veggie flavors, right? They taste so good. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Right. Oops. I love my diet right now. It's like the best vegan diet I ever had. I just didn't know how to do it. I knew it was good, it was healthy. Everybody said, oh, eat health food, but I'm like, how? I don't like all the recipes that, you know what I mean? Not, I don't like all the recipes, but I don't like, you know how a lot of like vegans, when they go whole food, they eat a lot of beans with like, like a, like a, what is that bowl? Poke bowl? Oh, that's good, that's a good roll. You did? Thanks. Oh my gosh. Is this for me? Yeah. Oh gosh. This is what Amber made me. It's very cute. It's good. Try it. Mmm. You know what? Mmm. How can vegetable be this good? Mmm. When you start eating healthy, you guys, you guys are appreciating. You start to appreciate the, the, the actual flavors of the vegetables. Like really. Oh my God, the other day. Mm. 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 Wow. 
but me and Hungry go on a date, right? I still have cravings for these, like, you know, vegan food. And a lot of the restaurants, they still serve a lot of flour-based stuff, like, you know, pizza. I mean, in New York City, there's this pizza store. There's a pizza cafe. Is it a pizza cafe? What do you call that? It's a pizza Pizzeria. shop. Pizza shop. Guys, the pizza. They have one Sicilian. It's a Sicilian pizza place. They have one vegan pizza. Okay, they don't put any like, you know, vegan fake pizza, cheese or anything like that. It's just with capers. With what? Some capers. It has capers? Yeah. Oh. And it had basil, had olive oil, it had some flour tomatoes. And I guess something, whatever. But I mean, obviously, they have flour. God, the pizza is amazing. It's so good, right? So, I've been off you know, flour for weeks, right? Almost like a month plus. It was like a cheat day. So, we went. I had the pizza. The first bite, guys, I thought I was literally in paradise, like somewhere in paradise. I was like, what? You, like, felt, like, you felt intoxicated. I felt like, seriously, guys, like my endorse or like my dopamine level went so skyrocket. I felt drunk at one point. I was like, Hangi, I feel drunk. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, I don't know. I just feel this like, like burst of like something. From eating flour, you guys. And then the crash was like not funny. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, people eat this every day and they don't know they're like going through this all day by eating flour. I'm telling you guys, like, I can't really explain things really well, but this eating healthy is going to save my life one day because guys, I wasn't feeling good for a while. The stress level that I go through every day, it was just too much. My body was just like, help. You know? And you gotta combat that with eating healthy things. Obviously for me. So I came up with really simple recipes that you don't really see online, I guess. Because a lot of people, they either like this poke bowls, you know, like a lot of broccoli with potatoes and beans and rice and I mean you know once in a while it's good but I can't eat it like that every day I need some flavor you know what I'm saying and texture and stuff mm. Mm, my God, so good so good guys I love the peanut sauce mm. Mm. it's just simple Maple syrup, coconut amino, and sesame seed. So good. Oh. So good. So much change has happened by me changing this diet two months ago. I have so much to say. I just can't say everything here. The biggest change ever in our household was Peppy. You know our Peppy, little Peppy, right? I put her on this like, in the morning before she goes to school, I make sure she drinks this veggie juice that I make, right? She loves it. In the beginning, I had a hard time giving it to her for the first week. She had a rough time. Now, she loves it. She, she, oh my God, guys, the stuff, I'm telling you, it's like, I can't even like tell you what happened to her. Like, really, a lot of stuff changed about her. It's so good. Oh. If you have problem Eating vegetable, you guys, my advice. It's just, you know, some of you are like, I like fruits, but I just can't do vegetable, right? Stuff.
start drinking vegetable, is it vegetable juice? Vegetable fruit juice, you guys, in the morning for like a week. Just try it. It's, you know, it's, it, it could be really hard in the first, first week or so, but after you pass that, you're gonna start eating salads. Like it's so, if you eat salad, you're like, oh, it tastes so good. And don't take away everything that you like. If you want ice cream, have it. And so we, maybe, like for me, I love chocolate, right? So I have it like once or twice a month. I do. Guys, my energy level was so low that I couldn't go work out. Like I couldn't get myself to the gym. I went there like one time and I was like, I can't do it. My energy level was that bad. My mental state was not so good. You know what I mean? Cause I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. But anyways, um, so ever since I started being really good with the diet, taking, you know, the, whatever the supplements, like the AG1 supplements that I need, I've been feeling so much better and I feel like probably neck by next month I could probably get to the gym. Six months? Well, it's already January. I mean, as in, I mean, it's already end of the month. That's true. I've been eating my diet, guys. I mean, I'll, I'll do a follow up, like I said. I know a lot of you say, I wanted that seven video video. What is she doing? Why is she not posting? I know, I know. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> My kids are like, they're like, Mom, you're probably gonna get me shoes today. Okay, I know, I know, I know. So, and watch my vlog channel, you guys. My vlog channel, I'm not really posting there, but watch it. <laughs> You have more passion for um, vlogging. I do, I do. Than mukbang. I do. It's just my content sucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll it'll get it'll get there. Oh my god, guys! I am I am not full, but I'm so content and I feel healthy. What, and how much did you eat? I don't know. I wasn't counting. <laughs> but the thing is, I'll probably get hungry later tonight, right? So if I do. I'll eat something. I'll eat like, I won't eat fruit or anything like that. I eat fruit and vegetable like in the morning, but I eat, try to eat fruit in the mornings. But at night, if I want a cookie or something, guys, another thing, get yourself into tea, okay? Drink lots of tea. That's another key. That's another key for diet. This is my diet. I took away 80% of the flour stuff in our house. My kids still eat flour. They eat about, they eat lemon if they want to. They eat, you know, bread if they want to. But it's not their main thing anymore. Uh-uh. Mm. I love big bites. Big bites. I don't know why we haven't had this in a while. Guys, you saw how much vegetable I had in here. Look, it's almost empty. I'm telling you, this is how you eat your veggie, okay? You have to make it work for you. You have to eat greens in your diet if you want to lose weight. You're gonna have a lot of hard time losing weight and feeling healthy without eating greens. Mm. You like the sauce? I love it. I love the sauce. I love it too. Have a bite. Let me do this on my cooking. What's gonna be your next video? Wait, baby, mom. How about your next? What video? are you doing today? For seven days. Or seven consecutive Ma. days. Ma. Your next video should be me making dinner for all of you. <laughs>
<laughs> what are you gonna make me? For me making vegan dinner for you and then you rate it. Can you get pee pop? I'm gonna surprise you with something and you have to rate it. Yeah? And you're not allowed in the kitchen until I give you and I put you in You're gonna make it. Yes, yeah, just me. Alright. Telling you, follow me on my vlog. Follow me on this journey, okay? I'm gonna try to share as much as I can. I know a lot of stuff, I just can't express it a lot. It's so good. My battery's about to die, you guys. I gotta go. Well, have you have you guys seen my shorts yet? Bye, gang. I'll see you later.